Okay, so if we have, let's repeat what we learned from our uh, simple example. Imagine we have um, n letter alphabet, and we want to encode each letter by, uh, like in, in Morse code, by a bit string of length k. So we need that two to number of the string will be greater than n, and so we need k should be log n uh, upper upper bound. And then uh, each letter each letter of our alphabet can be encoded by this by these things. But uh, then there is a, a, a natural question. Imagine that we want to use it in practice. And in practice, if we have an alphabet, like Russian alphabet or English alphabet, usually uh, different letters uh, are not equally, uh, have different frequencies. So uh, if you look at, at English text, you find, I think, much more ease that I don't know, is an excess, or there are just uh, some kind of probability uh, uh, frequency, frequencies uh, which are standard for English text. So the question is, can we use this idea in, uh, to make the encoding more efficient? So the idea, it, it was like uh, when, I think when the people in, 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 invented the first uh, telegraph maybe, or, or, or even, I don't know, uh, Morse code was for, for electric telegraph or for, for optical telegraph, I don't remember. But anyway, they, there is the idea that the short letter should have short, enco uh, frequent letter should have short encoding. I think, I think T or E are, are, are the, you can encode by one uh, point and one dash. But um, and I don't remember exactly. So um, then uh, the math mathematical question, we want to have some encoding. So we have some code words, um, some strings, U, U1, UN for the letters letters of length, I don't know, L1, Ln. And so we want to minimize, minimize the average uh, length, average number of bits per letter. So this is the sum of Pi, Li should be minimal. So we have some kind of optimization problem. We have gi given, gi we have uh, the frequencies are given, and we want to find the strings u1, un, un of and of, of unknown length, uh, and we want to minimize the sum of this length with with weights which are frequencies. So the the most important terms are where the frequency is big, so we need to uh, take into account them first. So, uh, what is the solution of this optimization problem? Hmm? Uh, In this case, if we don't have any more constraints, we can just sort frequencies and for most frequent words, match with shortest code. Okay, but what... Uh, but we wouldn't be able to encode it Okay, so there is a definitely the, the, what you are saying that problem is not well defined. So, for example, we can try to use all, all, for all u1, un, we can use, uh, I don't know, encoded by, by a, a, a string with one zero. So, it were very, very, very short code, the sum will be one. But of course, this code is completely useless. So mm, this problem is not well posed. We need to have some restriction. So what kind of restriction, what kind of restriction you will suggest? So, uh, no, of course, code length should be integer. I didn't, didn't mention this restriction, but if, if, if we are find a binary word, a binary string, normally its length will be integer. So, uh, So of course, all the letters, all the code, code words should be different. 
because if if, if they coincide, then then that's it's, uh, we cannot decode. But uh, what else do we need? Yeah. So uh, uh, there is a requirement which is called should be uniquely decodable. So can 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 you say what does it mean formally? No, no common what? So if we encode, uh, so imagine we have two words x uh, and y st strings in original alphabet. I don't know sigma. So we can encode each letter uh, in this strings and get a bit strings. Bit encoding according to our rule. And a uh, requirement is that there is a unique decoding. So if, if x is not equal to y, then encoding of x should be different from encoding of y. So otherwise two different messages can be encoded by one string and actually, in, in Morse code, it's not true. Because uh, when, when you they make this PPP, and there, there are some rules you should make bigger breaks between the letter. So uh, there are additional symbols, so to say, dividing things. But if we want to encode something by bits, then, then we need this unique decodable things. And now we have a well-posed problem. For a given alphabet, we should find uh, the best uniquely decodable a uniquely decodable code with minimal uh, average length. Okay, but there was something, uh, I heard something about prefix. So what, 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 what you said about prefix? Yeah? So there is a, another property which is called prefix free. So uh, prefix free means that if we have two code words, it's not possible that one of them is a prefix of another. So for example, if we have code zero, uh, I don't know, letter A is encoded by zero, then it's not good to encode letter B by zero, one. If A is encoded as 0 and B is encoded as 0, 1, this is not a prefix-free code. And so why, why it's good or what, what we achieve in this way or what? So when we have prefix-free code, we guarantee that our code is decoded. Yeah, if we have a prefix-free code, then uh, it's guaranteed that it's uniquely decodable. Sorry? Yeah, so, so it's what, what, what we asked. So if we have different, uh, we can say in different, say, we can say that different words have different enc bit encodings. Or we can say that having a bit encoding, we can find the word uh, from which it is obtained. So uh, why prefix free code is uniquely decodable? How do we decode it? So we look from left to right and find a prefix uh, that is a code word. And our requirement guarantees that this is unique. Because if we already find some prefix which is a code word, we know that everything later cannot be a code word. Otherwise, there will be two code words, which are one is the prefix of another. So prefix free implies uniquely decodable. Okay, so let, let, let me ask, it's, it's become late, so people probably are tired. So who, who thinks that he understands what is prefix free, what is uniquely decodable, and why the first thing implies the second thing? Yeah. 
Okay, but then, then if, if, you, if you understand that, can you, can you, can you say uh, whether the reverse is true? Is it true that every uniquely decodable code is prefix-free? No. 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 Why? For instance, code Yeah, this code... Yeah, the code is, is not uh, prefix-free, but it's uniquely decodable. Why? Yeah, okay, uh, indeed, it's suffix-free, so if we start decoding from other, other end, uh, then we are, uh, can do it. And, but actually, uh, it, it, it's a nice exercise, you can think about this. Imagine we have a suffix-free code, and then we want to construct a decoding machine which gets the string from left to right. And so can, how can we do it with an efficient algorithm? Uh, and not, not waiting until everything is decoded, but just n not having a memory for the entire string. We should read it bit by bit, uh, bit, by bit and at the end we should produce a, a, as decoding. So it's also possible, but mm. anyway, anyway, there's, it's easier if we are prefix-free. So let's uh, uh, try to find some uh, conditions when prefix-free codes exist. Uh, and this is also a well-known uh, thing. Imagine we want, we have a prefix-free free code. And of course, there is some uh, obstacle. We cannot have a prefix-free code uh, where the length are very small. Oh, it should be n big n. They cannot be very small. There is some obstacle. So who can say what is the obstacle? So uh, why, why cannot we have, for example, all of them? Of, can we have a thousand, thousand uh, prefix f code words of length, I don't know, five, and have still things prefix free? So, sorry? Okay, so w w there are numbers L1, Ln. So what is the obstacle for them to being very small? So of course, if you want to, to make an efficient code, we want to make them uh, uh, L or Ln, we should make minimal. Actually, we want to make the minimal the sum of them, but just in decreasing each of them, it's a good idea. So there is some obstacle. So what is this obstacle? Okay, but what is the obstacle? Can you write, uh, what is the formula? There are few short words. Okay. So, uh, okay, let, let, let me ask you. Imagine we won't have a prefix free code, I don't know, for alphabet, uh, with five uh, letters, and we want the length to be something like this, two, three, three, two, one. Is it possible or not? Impossible. Impossible. Why? Sorry? No. Uh, no. If you want to be mysterious, I will say craft. Uh, but Macmillan is not about this. So why, but just, you know, you know that's, that's all, that's, that's a difference. Some people know the theory and some people understand the things. So why such a code doesn't, doesn't exist? Can you say it for, for plain people? Why two, three, three, two, one is not possible? Code is either zero or one. So there is one word called word of size one. So it can be either zero or one. So one of this, uh, this is a binary tree of possible, possible strings. So there is an empty string, this is zero one. So one of them should be used. If it's, for instance, zero. For instance, zero. Then we have, as in all other words, uh, have as the first symbol one. So uh, if, if we use zero, this means that we cannot use anything which starts with, with zero. So all the rest of the tree is not available for us anymore. So, but we can still use something of starting with one. So, but we have two words of length two, so... 
So we have two, we need this to invent two code words of length two. So uh, there are actually only two, two, two possibilities for this. And we should use them. And then uh, everything is used, actually. We cannot use any, 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 anything else. So uh, even actually this, even without this, this word, we have a problem because it, there is no place for, for uh, even if we allowed a longer code word, I don't know, 10, it's still, still a problem because we used everything already. Okay, so, and if you follow this example, in general case, what is the, what is the obstacle? Uh, how, what, what, what kind of inequality should be uh, satisfied? I, I just, I, I, I tried the blackboard, so uh, <laughs> uh, this was not, not my, my, my idea, but, but you see it here, because um, the sum of, sum of the two minus Li should be less than one, because uh, each, each of this, uh, each, if we use some string of length L, then we somehow in the tree, it's, uh, uh, on level L, it occupies a, a one, two to the minus L fraction, fraction of all the tree, so to say. Actually, you can, you can think about that. There are two representations which are, you should remember all the time. So this is a binary tree, and we also can say like this. There is a segment which uh, is empty sequence, then it's divided by two parts, which are zero and one, and then they are divided into parts, each which are zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, and each of them is divided into parts, even smaller, and so on. Oops, I should. So, and uh, if we use some code word, in terms of the tree, we cannot use anything above it, and in terms of this, this uh, interval, we cannot use this interval. So uh, uh, code words corresponds to this joint interval. And the, the, this joint interval should, the total length should be at most one. So there is, a, there is an obstacle um, which prevents us from making L too short. So is it the only obstacle or there are some other obstacles? So imagine we have some, we want some numbers. Okay, let's try to have uh, some number where the sum is one. I think, I think here we have the sum exactly one. Two, three, three, and one. Can we now have the code? Yes, yes what the code should we have? Oh, zero again, we need zero. Zero, one, zero. zero, then we use code word of length two, and this is one zero, oops. One, zero. And then we have one, zero. two code words of length three, which can be, now, now this is not, <coughs> oops. No, it's a very advanced technology, all the trees now missing. Okay, I should write a new tree. So we use this, this thing, and then we use uh, this thing, and then we still have three this, and we can use this and this. Okay, so this is zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, and one, one, one. So we have a one code word of length one, uh, one code word of length two, and two code words of length three. So exactly as we want. So in this case, the sum was exactly one, and we find, find the correct things. So is it a general case? Imagine that the sum is, the inequality is true. Can we find the code words or not? Yes, why? Why we can find the code words all the time? Because we can consider the first. 
So you should, you should find, uh, assign the code words in some order. In which order you do this? So you start, you consider the, co the, the requirements in which order? You construct the code words. So you start with, 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 with big, bigger, longer code words or shorter code words? Oh, so you, sh you start with shortest code words. Okay. So you place your code words in, 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 in order of increasing length, yes. but using which rule? So you know which length you should have, yes. and, but there are many of them probably free. How you choose the correct one? So uh, I just use the first. So if I the leftmost. Yes, the leftmost. Yeah. So uh, if uh, the second one is uh, two, uh, the work of the last three, then I use the second uh, one. OK, that's what we did. So for a code word of length one, we find that the shortest we use the shortest string, this one. And then for code word of length two, you find the first one, which is uh, zero, uh, one zero. And for, for three code words of length three, for two code words of length three, we just find this and this. But the question is why there's enough space? So space is enough by our addition of sum. Assume we have uh, not enough space, that means uh, that uh, the sum is Okay, so uh, the, the claim is, let, let me repeat, the claim is that if the sum, if we have this, the sum is less than one, it doesn't exceed one, then we can make this allocation freely without contradictions, and there is enough space. Who understands why, it, uh, who b believes in the argument about this? Uh, can you explain it again, why it's enough? Well, I believe in it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there is, there is a, a definition of proof given by my uh, ad, um, graduate advisor, uh, Uspensky. What is a proof? And the proof is an argument which, according to his definition, that is so convincing that we can use, are ready to convince other people using the same argument. Uh, okay, so who, who thinks he understands the proof? Uh, okay, try to say it. Okay. Uh, let me... So we have the numbers which satisfy this, this thing. By contradiction, for instance, let uh, at some level we have no possibility to consider one more word. Yeah. And then the inequality will be false. Yes. Okay, but uh, why <laughs> then? Okay, there, actually when I was teaching for a long many years, I was teaching in, in mathematical school. And I know that there are two, two, two types of proofs which uh, uh, the students are like, to, like to use very much. The first type, they just repeat the statement in a very convincing voice. <laughs> and the second type of proof is just a proof by contradiction. Imagine the statement is false, then the condition should be false. And then should be repeated in convincing voice, and that's okay. <laughs> but, uh, Uh, 
I just minus it from one, and I have uh, some of two power to minus li uh, without the first uh, one word. And then I can continue my process by iteration. So first uh, word I have uh, found a place, and uh, I delete it from uh, the left side, and I decrease uh, the one for the stands. And uh, since it's, it's a binary code, so I uh, mark this place. OK, at the end, your voice was not convincing enough, I guess. But who, who is still convinced by this argument? Uh, OK, who can provide some convincing argument? Uh, OK, let's try. Uh, I will start with just two words, zero and one. Two words, zero and one. Then it's easy. I will just have two words. OK, so you just consider the case when L1 is one. And L2 is 1, or what? I just have a bag, and in this bag I have two words, 0 and 1. And then you will ask me to produce words of some length. And I just want that uh, this length be only increasing, not decreasing. That's it. And I will show you how I, uh, how I can give you these words. OK, so we will, we will again, with the same, the same idea, yeah. we will provide the words, uh, codes, uh, for the uh, given length, considering the length in increasing order. But somehow, mystically, we will use a bag. Yeah. And initially, this bag contains two words of length one, zero and one. Right. Yeah. So, um, Why this bag is helpful. So, let's say you want a word of length five. Then uh, I take a word of, um, I take one of the words of my bag. I'll tell you later which one. Then if it's of exactly the same length that you need, I'll just give it to you and that's it. If the word is, if you ask a word of larger length, then I'll just uh, transform my word into several ones. So let's say you, were to, you want a word of length three, and I have this word zero. I'll expand zero into zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero, and and other remain in the bag. Exactly. So and then you iterate this and until everything is OK. I claim that uh, okay. the process, I will always be able, I will always be able to give you a word of the uh, This needs proof, of course. Yeah. So this is the process. OK, who buys this argument? Who thinks that it's convincing? Uh, okay, let's tr try to explain why it's convincing. Yeah. What do we have in the first step? Uh, we have only just only one word, and this word is empty. Not so okay, far. so we start with even a bag which contains one empty string. Yes. Okay, empty string is a bit terrifying by some, but for some. But let's let's still consider the empty string. Yeah. Uh, uh, now from uh, uh, the heaven, the false uh, number uh, desired length. Length. Of, uh, shortest word in our yeah. You still consider everything in the order order of increasing length. Yeah. So uh, we have in a bag, we have an empty string, and we w have a request to provide a string of length three. What do we do? We, how to say, uh, uh, make from this one empty row. Yeah. Firstly, two words, one of lens, two of words of lens one. Then each of them is also divided, yes. Yeah. Two parts. And yeah. So it would be zero, 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 one, one. Zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Uh, then in the next step we divide them. So we get all, all eight strings of length three. Eight string and one of them is sent to the customer. Yes. And the other are, are kept in the bag for future yes, use. Exactly. And now yeah. we get another one, another length. It, uh, maybe again three or maybe, maybe four. Three or more, but no, not less. No, no, it's not less. So if it's again three, we just from 
take one of our words in our storage and yeah. So as, as, as far as we have a long, a short enough uh, uh, string in our storage, uh, we can uh, cut it into pieces and sell one piece. Like, like in the shop when they ask for a piece of cheese, we can cut a bigger piece. If, but the problem is whether there is an, always is a bigger piece. Just a moment. Okay, who is convinced by this argument already? Actually, it shouldn't be true, I think. What should not be true? We actually already agreed to take leftmost orders. I mean, there is a reason for this. No, leftmost orders means that we just, in our bag, we just give, give the leftmost one. Okay, but still, still, still. It, Th things in the back are just vertices, so we can take the leftmost one. I can explain why it works. Okay, uh, why it works? First of all, uh, the, uh, how to say, the, the sum of uh, 2 to the power minus the length of the world in our storage, sum of such, yeah. uh, mm, values, is uh, and over a step is uh, 1 minus the sum of uh, elements which we have solved. Okay, what we have still unsolved is 1 minus what we have already solved. That's yeah. great. So, so that, why, why the, there are mm, new words which we uh, need to solve, uh, there is enough space, uh, there is positive space in our storage. Positive space in our storage, yeah. Yes. Uh, in but the, maybe it's in, 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 in small pieces. In the first uh, statement, okay. Statement. The second statement, uh, the claim. On every step, uh, the, small, the size of pieces is not uh, uh, smaller than the size of the world, which uh, would be asked by a customer. Uh, proof. Uh, yeah, since, proof. Uh, on, on every step, customer gives as uh, shortest word of what, what, we, what he would ask later. Uh, hmm. So he, we ask, the, uh, we get the request in increasing length order. Yeah. Prove, 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 prove by number of steps. C claims more correctly such that the length of words in our storage is exactly the same as the length of the of last sold word. Previously. Yeah, by induction we prove this this the statement, yes. and the induction is obvious. That's what we want to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's another another good idea. Just uh, okay. When we get the first word, for instance, of problem three, we automatically divide our one and two in parts, each of length three. So on the first step, we are, we are done. <laughs> we are done. Okay. Who who thinks it's convincing? What does it mean? It's yes. Or? It means so, so. <laughs> I would invent my life in it, but not so. On the next step. Oh, that's 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 what all programmers do, and that's why nothing is working. Okay, let me try to repeat your argument in, in kind of more metaphorical things. So imagine that, let, let's re return to this picture. Imagine we have a kind of a corridor and from, uh, of, of some length. And we get some uh, kind of, I don't know, the, 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 the things to cover it. Kind of, of uh, how, how you say in English, caviar. Uh, carpet, yeah, yeah, of course. So we have some special carpets. Carpets are of length one half, or uh, one fourth, one eighth, and so on. And uh, our goal is to place the carpets inside this uh, corridor so they don't, do not intersect. And uh, we can place, okay, we can even have a carpet of length one. And the, the correct placing is restricted. They should be correctly aligned. 
they should be aligned. The carpet of length one can be only in one position. The carpet of length one half can be in two positions. And carpet of length one four can be in four position. One eight can be in eight position and so on. And then we get the, the set of carpets and we have to uh, find positions for them uh, so they did, do, do not intersect. So uh, what I am saying that this is just the, the initial question uh, rephrased because uh, this position for the carpet one is just empty string. The, this position for the carpet one half is code word zero and code word one. And this position for one fourth are code word zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. So we have uh, the requirement that uh, non, none of them is the prefix of the other one mean that they are disjoint in this picture. And so we get uh, a family uh, uh, set of carpets. And of course, we, total length is, should be less than one. Otherwise, there is no chances to put them correctly. And we claim that we always can place them in a correct order. And the solution is, that we just place them starting from long carpets and going to short one, and then fill the corridor from left to right. So we start from longer and go to shorter, and fill them just from left to right without holes. And what, what the last argument you said is just alignment, why, why they will be placed in the correct positions. Because uh, uh, for shorter carpet, there are more correct positions. So the alignment for shorter, shorter like, like bytes should be aligned uh, uh, more, less strictly than words, and the double words, and so on. So for shorter position carpets, there are more al allowed positions, so we will not get into a wrong one. And because of the entire uh, condition of length, we will never get outside the, 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 the segment. OK, so probably it's not, not convincing very much also. But uh, who, who, who believes that it's a correct, uh, co correct argument? A bit better. But w w will you risk your life because of this argument or not? Uh, non <laughs> OK. <laughs> still, still, you know that the real proof is something, something it's also, also a well-known well effect in, in, in teaching. When, when students ask, give some proof, usually uh, uh, the, the standard question, OK, will you, would you like to make a bet on, on, on something, for example, a chocolate, uh, that your statement is correct? And most of the time, people who were before were very convinced about their proof start to say, maybe, but let's not now, I'll think more, and so on. So this is, this is a good idea. But we, we, we should stop now. Let me end with a problem. We, you can think about, uh, uh, about this carpet problem. And it actually has some nice, it's, it's used in, in Kolmogorov complexity. Imagine that now we, we don't serve the requests in increasing order. So we get carpets in arbitrary order. And we should place, place them. Uh, immediately and forever. So we cannot wait until big one comes. We, we get, if we get a short one, the short one should be placed and no, it cannot be pl pl changed, cannot change the place later. Still, it's possible to satisfy all the requirements without uh, uh, moving the carpets later. So there is a kind of online algorithm which does the same, uh, same thing in a busy order. OK, so I'm, I see that I haven't, haven't uh, performed even half of what I planned. But mm, uh, sorry. But uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll, tomorrow we'll either continue this or, or, or go fast and, and switch to Kolmogorov complexity, depending on what you, what you want. So thanks, thanks because that's now it's time to. <laughs> <laughs>